students good morning dear students in previous classes you already learned about the addition of money and the addition of money statement problem dear students today class we discuss about the subtraction of money okay Money. Okay. Did you understand, students? First, you write here 
two columns first group by C column and group B column. You do the subtraction by C from the by C and do the subtraction group B from the group B. You will get the answer twenty one group B four by C. After the subtraction, you will get the twenty one group B four by C. This is the method of the subtraction of money. Okay. I take one more example. Example two. Example two. Example two. Students. Again. Write. The two columns. Example two. Subtract ninety-five rupee, thirty-five paise, and forty-five rupee, seventy paise. Okay, dear students. Example two. Subtract ninety-five rupees, thirty-five paise. Forty-five rupee seventy paise. You make it two columns, rupee and paise. Write the rupee in the rupee column and write the paise in the paise column. Okay. Ninety-five rupee thirty-five paise. Forty-five rupee seventy paise. Okay. Start the subtraction. Five minus zero, five. Three minus seven is possible. It is not possible because three is less than seven. Therefore, you are taking a zero from rupee. Okay. So this become thirty. It will be four because the one is in zero from the rupee place. Okay. To take zero from the five. One number is just four. The three becomes thirty. Okay, thirty. Thirty minus seven. Thirty minus seven. So thirty minus seven is six. Thirty minus seven is six. Okay. Next, come to the rupee column. Four minus five is possible. It is not possible because four is less than five. Therefore, to make a bar from the nine, so it will become forty. It will eight. Forty minus five. Forty minus five. Forty minus five is nine. Okay, forty minus nine is forty minus five is nine. Next, eight minus four is Four. What is the remaining amount after the subtraction? Forty-nine rupee sixty-five paise is the answer after the subtraction. Okay. Therefore, ninety-five rupee thirty-five paise minus forty-five rupee seventy paise is equal to. Forty-nine rupee sixty-five paise. This is the answer after the subtraction. Okay, this is the method to solving the subtraction of money with borrow or without borrow. Okay. Next, go to the subtraction of money. The statement problem. We solve the sub. We solve. The statement problems on the subtraction. Okay. Yes. I write one question. Example one. Eighty-five rupee, fifty 
if i say if he buys t-shirt for What is the remaining amount? Remaining amount with him. Dear students, Salma has eighty five rupees fifty paise. If he buys T shirt for What is the remaining amount with him? Dear student, in case of addition statement problem, we consider the word total. The total word is present in the statement problem. You can solve by the addition. Okay. If this is the statement problem of the subtraction, the one word is there. That is. Yes. Amount 85 rupees 50 paise for T-shirt 60 rupees 15 paise. Okay. Do the subtraction. Zero minus five is not possible. You take zero, so it becomes ten. Ten minus five is five. Four. Is remaining four minus one is three. Thirty-five paise is remaining after the subtraction. We do the subtraction in rupee column. Five minus zero, five. Eight minus six is two. What is the remaining amount with Salma? Therefore, the remaining amount. With Salman is how much? Twenty five rupee, thirty five paise. This is the remaining amount with Salman after buying a T-shirt. Okay. This is the method to solve the statement problem on subtraction. Okay, I take one more example on the subtraction. Example two.
Pencil box for forty five rupee twenty paise. What is the what is the remaining amount? Remaining. Dear students, the Purnima has ninety six rupee fifteen paise. She purchased a pencil box for forty five rupee twenty paise. What is the remaining amount with her? Okay, the remaining word is there. So this is the subtraction question. Okay, I saw this one. Answer. First we will write what is given in this question. The amount. Write down amount which Punima has ninety six rupee fifteen paise. Amount for the pencil box forty five rupee twenty paise. Do the subtraction five minus zero five one. Okay, come to the exercise. 